to look at the person's face and go and write exams in that week. So they <laughs> just go and take one week from. Then they wake up in the morning yeah, they, and they uh, think of work. That is it. Then they that, it, it crops out. Now I have this scenario I'm putting up there, so people watching us or listening to us should listen to me very well and answer themselves. So when we open, we all debate. Now watch something here: a night shift nurse in a very busy urban hospital mm. recognize that the dosage that the doctor has prescribed for that uh, patient is a little bit higher. But when she remember, or when he remember gender balance, yeah, I don't want trouble. When he or she remembers how he was demeaned and, 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 and disgraced the other time when he asked of clarity from the doctor, all of a sudden the dosage is okay. So she or he is going to administer the dosage. And, it's uh, up to the listeners to tell me at the end of my lecture what might have happened. The second scenario I'm putting up there is a young pilot, right, a military young pilot, saw that the master has made a, a, a serious misjudgment. But because of lack of psychological safety with that particular master, he kept quiet. So I want them to tell me what is going to happen to the flight. Now, the third but not the least is a senior executive officer mm -hmm. who has been hired into the new uh, company, mm -hmm. right? And everybody in the company is happy about the new takeover. But he, as a new person, has solved some mistakes that he knew that this takeover is going to have a, we're going to have a challenge. But because he's been treated to be an orphan, a very new person here, no room has been created for him to be accepted as a person and accepted based on his skills and proficiency. Mm. He kept quiet and the deal go through. Now I want our listeners to tell me at the end of this lecture the probability of what is going to happen. Now note, in all these three scenarios, when the voice was necessary or voice may have been helpful, everybody kept quiet. Mm. And there are reasons why people keep quiet. Now why this? Now note, Nobody wants to be seemed like ignorant, so don't ask questions. So in a meeting, people know that when they ask some genuine questions, when they become curious, they will be treated as ignorance. Yeah. The response from the bosses will tell them, well, I, have you completed the university at all? <laughs> so in order, not, in order to avoid all these things... What school me, did you go to? Yes. In order not for them to prove that I am ignorant in this business, let me keep quiet. Now, the second reason why this flourish is incompetent. Don't admit mistakes or that weakens you. So if the boss even knows that he has made a mistake, he will not admit it because the workplace, people will not take it kindly. It's an ego problem there. That is it? it. The next thing is intrusiveness. You are so new. Don't bring yourself. How long have you been Where here? Where were you? When? Where were you when we started? So people will keep quiet. So don't offer ideas. Because they will see it as being what? Intrusiveness. Or trying to assert your position in that regard. Right. Now the next one is negative. Don't criticize the status quo. If not, you'll be seen to be a very negative person. Now note, this kind of behavior is very good. It is easy to manage this environment. Are you getting my point? Yeah, we're going to move into a place where you see that people sit on management meetings and nobody speaks. And the manager will be roughing that, oh, you see, even when we get to management, one hour I am done. Yeah. You, you've gotten nothing from them. Yeah. Yeah, so you quick, 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 quick uh, endorse. We are going. It's because of lack of psychological safety. Now, the good news is that this strategy works very well for self protection. Right. If the manager wants to protect himself, nobody asks questions. Nobody challenges the status quo. Nobody brings in new ideas. They don't want to be looked like ignorant. It's very good. Now, psychologists call this impression management. You can, you have some impression, some perception, mm -hmm. and I want people to help me to manage it. I'm the boss, very brilliant one. I was poached at a very high cost. So, I mean, you don't come and joke around with me. So, anything you say, I shut it down. This is where people rather shoot messengers and not a message. But you see, when that happens, there's no Good. growth, there's no development. That is it. Because I've always said that when, when situations like this okay, mm -hmm. you rule or you manage people. Yeah. Not, mm. not mosquitoes. No, 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 no. So if the you are not connecting with the people, yeah. then there's a disconnect. That is then it. Then your usefulness is affected. That is it. And you see, people that really, if people, we are talking, I'm talking about the individual entrepreneurs here. Mm. I will urge them to listen to this. It's very, very, there are some places we don't want to mention.